Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, time for a little bit more Castlevania on the N64 here. Um, it's been a while since I streamed it last, but it's also I haven't really had the chance to. It's been too noisy around here. If you watch my pickups video, uh, they've been doing work, so I haven't really had Wednesdays period, and just you know, timing in and of itself too. Uh, but we're back here. We're gonna play some more Castlevania. I think I'm on like the third section of it anyway. Um, I feel weird because I've had an easier time with it uh, this time than I have before and I don't know if that's directly attributed to the fact that I chose easy mode and I don't know if I've ever picked that before. But uh, we pick up right here. We're in the... I think they refer to this as the villa unless I've already passed that point. But it's the garden. It's the front garden. Um, I'm going to go inside for the first time right now after saving up front. Um, I want the Millennium Guide. The Millennium Guide for this game is really, really good, actually. The Braiding Games Guide, not that great. But the Millennium Guide is fantastic, actually. Um, I just want to make sure I know where I am right now. So, Castle Wall did that part. So we're on here, area three, this is the villa, and we're out front. Cool. So we'll just head inside first. And uh, see what's up. Red jewels. Yeah. Alright. And uh, I think this is going to start the part of the game where we start like talking to people. Um, sort of in a Castlevania 2 style. Um, I think that's a thing in this game. It's definitely somewhat of a thing. There's cutscenes and stuff. Full 3D, albeit in engine cutscenes. Uh, my health is actually not that great right now, but. Jesus Christ! Ah, so these are the villagers that have been turned into horrendous, extreme-looking vampires. Yeah, get the fuck away from me. Yeah, get off me. I think if he grabs me, I have to, like, jiggle the control stick. So I got that. Do I have to kill that bat, too? Or does he fly away? Alright, he flies away. I need... roast beef. Almost full. Just just shy of being completely full. Alright, see if there's anything in here that I can use. They loaded me up at the beginning, which was cool. But I haven't seen a whole lot of healing items since then. So I think that was intentional. And I think they gave me more healing items in easy mode than they would. But like I said, I haven't really seen that much more of them, so I think they're kind of like making you make them last. Jewel. Nothing over here. So yeah, I gotta say, I really have enjoyed this game a lot for the... Uh, Aside from the platforming, I think most of the things about this game are done pretty well for the transition to 3D that a lot of people say that this is a franchise that did extremely poorly with it, but I think people are just too... Like, the 2D Castlevania continued to be so good, it's not fair to say that it transitioned poorly to 3D, so much as that Castlevania is just meant to be 2D, it seems, or that's what they do the best with. Um, but from the exploration standpoint, and even the combat standpoint, um, I've really enjoyed it. I just, the platforming can be nerve-wracking. I don't want either of those. I want my holy water. I wonder, can I destroy these? Probably not. What's in here? This is going to be kind of cool, actually. We're going to go explore all the rooms. That's actually pretty sick. It feels like you're playing Resident Evil. Oh, purifying. 
that's got to be good if I get poisoned or something. We're going to get cutscene out of this. Oh, it's, uh, I want to call him Van Helsing, but I think that's not his name. So. Clearly not a vampire. Don't have gigantic, horrendous... Vincent. Okay, that's his name. Yeah. You appear to be a genuine human. Thank you. What was the giveaway? Charlie Vincent. Yeah, he's clearly supposed to be Van Helsing. But that's cool. The gigantic cross on the, on his back is the is the most Van Helsing thing about him easily. Don't talk nonsense. Oh, you're gonna fucking die, son. He's gonna die. It doesn't let me individually skip the uh, text boxes, so I just have to wait for them to go away. Obstinate youth, I will give you one more warning. Leave this place. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go in here. Ooh, there's a mirror in here that definitely won't come into play at all. I don't want to accidentally pick up that... Cr I don't want that! I didn't want that. That looked like a, a bureau or something. I wanted to open it. Alright, there seems to be nothing of consequence in here just yet. So let's go over here. Keep going through the rooms. Oh, fuck. What the fuck was that? Oh, it's a skeleton. Or is it... Is that a knight? Is that a possessed suit of armor? You got a knight in shining armor? It's called a suit of armor. And yes, we have those. It typically comes as the full set. Hey, a key. Okay. There is a stylus so far. Roast chicken! Ah, fuck you. Fuck. You. Um. So that was easy. I have the storeroom key now. Let's go back and check out the storeroom yeah that's just a fucking oh it's like a projection from the fucking stained glass what the fuck that's actually awesome that's why there's that's why they're fucking 2d that is really cool though I pressed the wrong button I want the cross anyway the to storeroom key has been used hey look at that Oh, that's dope. Oh, that's cool. Do I do I just get that? I get that from touching her. That's pretty cool. All right, and let's save. I love it. You better be saving. I'm gonna do that again, just in case. That, that concerned me, that it acted like the controller pack wasn't in. Alright, what's in here now? Oh, it's just the, the door at the end, so I'm gonna go in here. There's two doors to that ballroom. There's two doors to that ballroom and no door to the, uh, the room that Vincent came out of. Another cutscene? You're, like, still really far away from it. Oh, shit, this is the merchant. That's dope. Renault. Hello? Hello? Uh, 
Nice. <laughs> oh, like he's up front about it. That's great. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. No, I'm gonna help you. Hooray! Awesome. Where the fuck do you have to be? Genuinely curious, where does he have to be? I can see if someone summoned him with the scroll, but he just looked at his, his watch. The contract. Oh my god. Oh, okay, so it's not like something that you walk around with, I assume. Right? Is that what is that what they're saying? What do I have infinite gold? Is that what easy mode is? Because I'm not okay with that. Oh, I feel shitty about that. Um cool. I guess I'll just yeah, I'll just buy this. So what is purifying? Vampirism, okay. So yeah, if I were to get bitten by one of those vampire villagers, then he would fuck me up for a good amount of time. So I'd need the purifying thing to clean me. Cleanse me. Alright. I'm ready. Oh, these things are gonna come to life. No? They will at night? Oh, I should probably just keep going down that hallway. Because this was the ballroom here. The dining hall, whatever the fuck they want it to be. Stay away from me. So we can keep going down the hall this way. some other shit. That is really cool. That is a really cool enemy design. I like that. It's a good way to replace the skeletons, too. And another cutscene. Oh. I noticed. Yeah. That's why I'm here. That's cool. <laughs> it's not like that was a surprise though we've already seen a vampire villager you should have saved it for this that would have been so much more effective if they just saved it for that and didn't make me fight one in the foyer cross bitch did I miss still good apparently 
I like how the, uh, oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. God damn it. Much smaller room. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Good. Uh, I guess that was good for something. Uh, I'm gonna eat some chicken. Excellent. Archives. Okay, noted. Okie doke. Now what? Nice. Thank you. Let's go check out that room Vincent came from. Is he still in here? No, he left. Okay. At least I think he left. It makes me think that there's got to be something in here because there's also a giant mirror in here. Oh, there we go. I broke the mirror. Now what? Keep, uh... Wait, what? A vase of beautiful painting? What? That doesn't make any sense. A comfy bed. Well, fine. Nice painting of the, uh, villa. Let's go back downstairs. See if there's anything else of use to us down here. Yay. That looks like Resident Evil, doesn't it? Okay. I swear I should be able to break the chandelier. I got it. There we go. A host of riches. Roast the chicken. Purify. Gold. Did I manage to go through this door? Ah, that's right. Whack the... Whack the candlesticks. 
Let's go back out here. She recovered everything. this? Henry. Anything of use over here? Another tombstone. <laughs> okay. What about this one? Nope, nothing. Oh, one more. What's this one say? I got a moon card out of it. Does it also say something? <laughs> nope. Okay. Back in the hole! Did I mess something? I think I messed something up in the hallway that goes to the archives. And I. There's another section of it that I wasn't paying attention to. Because I couldn't see it. So that's the first place I'm going to go back to. I'm going to go to that room where I fought that other vampire. Uh, they had the roses in it. And then that hallway with the archives. Because I couldn't get to the archives. And I just walked away. But I think that's where I'm supposed to be headed. Let's go over this way. Apparently the garden key should be over here somewhere. The table's back. This is where I'm kind of lost. It says... The maps in this book are really, really good. Just... Purifying more of the rose. That's what I'm not getting. Do I have the archives key? Or am I supposed to be able to get the archives key? But now, where is there another key? I guess there's the storeroom key. Nope. So I'm very confused by this. What? Oh, okay, if Vincent has it, where the fuck did he go then? It literally says, talk to Vincent again and he'll give you the archive key. Well, where is he? He left. I'm just gonna check the other rooms on my way there. Make sure he's not fucking in here. He was straight up not in that room when I went back. I would have talked to him. This is 
doesn't make any sense. He was in here. He was walking around doing nothing. Yeah, he's back. Okay. That's not my fault. Yeah. You. Yeah. There's supposed to be another character I'm supposed to meet. Now, if I go back to the garden area. Like right now. Trigger cutscene. Is this a time specific event? Possibly. Three AM. Okay. Which I need the moon card then. Jesus Christ. Still gonna be waiting here a long time. Well, let's get an idea of what we're supposed to do next while I fucking stand here, wait to talk to Rosa. Uh, da, 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 and then I go to the archives. I go, well, I go get the archive key from Vincent. I go to the archives, and then I should be able to get the garden key from somewhere out of there. Uh, okay. And then there's not that much else. We meet Renan. Still waiting. Malice. This small boy named Malice. Oh, and apparently I should, uh, interact with the stone dogs out in the front. Ooh, there's a dude with a chainsaw in the garden. Terrifying. Oh my god, we're gonna be waiting a long time. Sorry, this is just how Castlevania works. You have to fucking stand there and wait. Oh, this is a long section, too. This is a long chapter of this game. The first two have not been very long at all. Wow. Alright, I'm probably not going to be able to do the whole chapter this time. This is a fucking long section. Oh, cool. And you know something else, too? There's a different, um... The different characters go to different places uh, after after the third chapter, which is cool. Because I remember this tunnel section with uh, with Schneider, and it was a pain in the ass because there's platforming and shit. You're like waiting on platforms taking you through the fucking waterways, and you can't fall off. But you got to jump. It sucks. It's probably where I stopped because it was such a fucking pain in the ass. Still waiting. Cool. And then from that point, that's when I'm going to be all excited. Go to a place I've never been before. Oh, and there's another section like that. Badass. Badass. Still waiting for Rosa to show up. What's in the other ones? Oh wow, the Castlevania. Nope, that's Turok. That's why. Castlevania actually would be close to the front, huh? How far does the Nintendo Power cover us for? This Nintendo Power has us covered. Actually, I'm already past where the 
where this Nintendo Power would be because it stops like right at the beginning of right at the first part of the villa section. Right? Here's Turok ad. Yep, and it goes to South Park. So yeah, Matcher already passed this issue. And then Brady Games. Let's double check if this is correct. I have to wait until 3 a.m. for Rosa. Okay. So Vincent's asleep at night. I have to talk to him in the daytime. And then I have to go wait until nighttime to talk to Rosa. Jesus Christ. Three AM. Almost there. Oh boy, three AM. Who wants to talk to a gardener at three in the morning? Fucking I do. Poor child has just been standing out here for hours now. Hours. Does this say anything? No. Please don't do anything. Almost there. That's all we're gonna get. Oh boy, three AM. Here we go. Hello, friend. Go for it. No one's stopping you. I ain't afraid of no vampire. Demon? Maybe ghost. <sighs> okay. Archives. Oh, the guy with the big cross. Like the five and a half foot cross. Thanks for the help. And just like that, she were gone. Okay. And then I have to wait until the fucking daytime to talk to Vincent. I'll just stand outside and fucking... Ugh. Wait until it passes like 6 a.m. I guess. Jesus Christ. 
I could use a sun card, but I think I only have like one of those. Realistically, only waiting another like half hour, so. Or, another three hours of in game time. I don't know why I said half hour. We're not waiting that much longer, realistically. I might have to wait longer than 6 a.m. It just seems like a correct time. We're going on uh, quarters of the of the clock. Yeah. Yeah, how are you? So I like how you get out of bed and then you just walk around. Yep. My intuition tells me it's worthless. Thanks! I'll take this worthless key off your hands. Archives key. But there is nothing in here but books and papers. There we go, this is what it's supposed to be. Key! Oh dear god, what's gonna happen now? Oh, okay. Another fight in here? Nope. Alright, let's go to the garden. First, we pet the doggo. Pet the doggo? Pet the doggo. No? No, that's not a thing? I thought that was a thing. Okay. Alright. This is like the fucking maze from Search for Reptile. You know the goose is like around the corner and just fucking waiting to jump out and tear your face off. Okay, this is just malice. Oh. Malice, my name is Malice. Malice? Why are you here alone in this terrible place, Malice? Malice? Oh my god. Yikes. Yeesh. Yeah. And then they ate them. Like the Thens. Makes sense. Oh my god! I knew this was gonna be bad news. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, they're just gonna keep getting back up, I guess. Yeah, fuck you. What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. Get the fuck away from me. Oh lord. Oh, I like the billboarding on the bush. Get away from me. Get away from me. Holy fuck. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Healing kit. Now. No, I'm fucking doing the holy water. <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking terrifying. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh god, he's gonna get me. Oh god, oh Christ. God damn it. Let's get the high ground. Don't want that. No, thank you. Well, you gonna fuck me up. Mm. Yikes. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. Oh god, he's gonna get me. No, it's right there. No. Uh... Oh my god. Fuck this. Oh, I think I'm gonna die right now. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? What was that? That was horrible. My question now, can you even kill him? Run and toss He's invincible! Okay, I can't actually kill him. Alright. Well. Fuck that. Fucking Christ. And you can't kill those either. Oh my god, I have to go all the way back to this? Well. Uh, that's it. <laughs> god damn. That's ridiculous. And especially that that guy's invincible and you can't actually kill him. You have to fucking run and go through doors and stop yourself. Jesus Christ. Alright. Uh, when I finish this part, uh, we'll, we'll come back to this and we'll do another video for some later part of this game. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for waiting around with me. Um, 
while we waited to talk to Rosa, and while we just ran for our fucking lives, and all for nothing, all for nothing. Um, cool. Uh, I'll see you next time with something, something else from Castlevania 64. Peace.